one and all and welcome to Seen Through Glass and welcome to the party that is Werther C. Treffen 2019. This is the biggest, I believe, Volkswagen meet in the world. Uh, it's definitely one of the biggest car events in Europe and it is celebrating all things VW. Officially, it's supported by the actual factory, by Volkswagen themselves, but it began around 35 years ago with a group of GTI enthusiasts meeting together in a super picturesque lakeside city called Verdersee. It's all about individualization, modification, personalization of VW, but also all cars in general. It's just a big old party. There's lots of people here drinking beer and having a nice time. There are families, there are couples. It's just, it's a party as you could probably tell by the music. So, enough chat. Let's go and check out what cars are here at this year's Verdersee Treffen. Proof that Verdersee isn't just about Volkswagen. Look at this Porsche. I don't know if it's an actual RWB, but it's absolutely amazing. You've got Minnie and Mickey Mouse on the side, roll cage inside. Look at that wing. Yeah, it is. There you go. RWB Austria. What? What a beast. And just behind it, I want to actually show you. Look at this modified Mercedes X Class. So the pickup truck from Mercedes looking so beastly. I really want them to make an AMG version of this thing. I think it would be super cool to go up against the, the Ranger Raptor. But yeah, for now, <laughs> this is a winner for me. This I love, highly modified GTI with the roof rack with an Alaskan plate on it. We've got the nodding dogs in the back. The color I think is amazing. Ton of stickers and then look, look at the interior, immaculate with the beaded seats. Love these wheels. This has definitely got to be one of the favorite GTIs for me so far. <laughs> look at the little yellow front bumper light. Yes, that just screams adventure. For me, one of the coolest cars here, what looks like a completely stock and original up GTI. I absolutely love it. These things are so cool. I am desperate to have a go at one. But the fact that, as I say, they are here in what looks like a stock car alongside all of these modified and tuned Volkswagens. I mean, yeah, that thing, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Some of you know, but not all of you will know, that my very first car was a 1.4 litre Mark IV Golf. It was my trusty machine to give me the freedom that you get when you pass your driver's test. And at that time, I dreamed of an R32. It was just the ultimate badass Mark IV Golf. And I still lust after one, because I think they're super cool. There have been a few creeping around today that sound so, so good. And you know, okay, fine, Golf R today, quicker, more of a beast, there you go, you can see one. But something about this shape, this engine, the R32 badge. I just love this. What is it? I don't know, but I love it. This is the coolest rally safari looking modified golf. I mean, oh my God. I will admit, I don't keep track of the modified scene, but I have been getting worried over the years that maybe Lambo doors were going out of fashion, but I'm glad to see that here at Worthersea. No, they are back. They are back strong. All I'm missing now is spinning rims. I guess that sums up the party side of Verdus uh, Trip, and I have no idea what I just watched. Well, I do actually. I just watched two women wash a man on a car. Not they didn't wash the car; they washed a man on the car. 
Now, how many of you know about this, the Audi A1 Quattro, arguably the rarest and most expensive A1 ever made by Audi, limited to 333 units. It was kind of like a, a hark back to the old Quattro days, um, but in an A1 shape. I love these wheels. Extremely rare and bespoke. It's not just different wheels and sort of paint job and stuff. They really re-engineered this, Audi Sport re-engineered this little hatch into something special. As you can see on the side, it says win me because lots of you will be familiar maybe with Via Montis on Instagram. I think Seb Delaney's driven a couple of his cars. He's been very active recently, engaging with different YouTubers and doing some cool stuff. This car, you can win. Um, I believe the whole concept is if you go and buy uh, one of these calendars, which has got shots of the car in amazing locations, you get entered into the competition and have the chance to win this little beast. Now, I think on the used market, these cars are going for 40, 45 grand for a good version um, in the UK. I'm not sure about the rest of the world, but yeah, <laughs> it's a pretty amazing little thing and anyone who's driven one says it's awesome. Super cool to see this. No, just look at it. Keep children and little animals away. <laughs> <laughs> that is a monster. I mean, here you go. Here's some of the, the stats that we can look at. 520 PS, 2.9 seconds nauta while 100 kilometers an hour, 62 miles an hour. I mean, that is supercar performance. And yeah, yeah? <laughs> it's the car throttle test for you, but yeah. wow, super yeah. cool. You have to hear it. Really? You have to hear it. Can you start it? Yeah, we will. <laughs> I'm exhausted. <laughs> this event is so intense. Brilliant, but intense. Uh, I think I might have already said it's like the perfect culmination of Goodwood Festival of Speed and SEMA. Um, it's just got that sort of similar feel. Just saw the coolest GT2 RS with Batman driving it and an insanely liveried GT4 with old like F1 camel style livery. Anyway, as you can see, I'm back in the Carrera T because Nikolai, uh, who's a big Audi Instagrammer by the way, I don't know if I introduced him properly enough uh, in the video, uh, is gonna take me to a couple of other spots where apparently stuff happens during this event because it's not just all about this main area, the GTI Treffen. Uh, it expands, it expands and it's far reaching. So yes, we're gonna go and see what else happens around this beautiful lake. So we've made our way over to Felden, Felden, which uh, Nikolai said is like a mini Monte Carlo on Versace, on the lake. Um, lots of cars still cruising around. Apparently this is where you sometimes find the slightly more high-end automobiles uh, of the GTI Treffen, uh, or just local owners. We're just going to go past, uh, well, a GT86 or a BRZ that looks quite nice. Um, I, ha I keep seeing GT Porsches, GT 911s, which obviously excites me, but I'm trying to keep my eyes open for anything else. Oh, there's an old Cinquecento. Oh, I love it. And I've got an old Mini behind me. Oh, it's loud, isn't it? But yeah, we're just going to see what's happening. The traffic is particularly bad here, which does remind me of Monaco. And the fact that I'm not in top marks this weekend, this is as close as I'm going to get to a top marks kind of atmosphere. So I'm going to try and indulge in it as much as I can. finishing the day by heading to a very picturesque tower in the region. It's kind of above the actual lake um, and Nikolai has free access there. Apparently the road up to it is quite nice uh, and it just feels like quite a picturesque way to sign off what has been an absolutely mad day. I Honestly, I don't think, maybe it's not as crazy as I'm thinking because this is my first experience, but it feels like the craziest car event I've ever been to in my life. And apparently I missed the true craziness, the pre-meet, apparently where it really kicks off. So today's been quite tame. Supposedly. <laughs> I can't get over how ridiculous that just was. I feel like we've just driven up a proper official hill climb course. It was an open public road, but the amount of people at every corner, at every straight, also 
egging you on to launch it, drift it, rev it. Uh, it's quite a lot of pressure to drive normally because it is quite a low speed limit road. Oh, there were tyre marks everywhere and oh my god, the atmosphere of this event just gets better and better. Anyway, we've come to the top of this hill or mountain to go up this uh, to get a full view of the region. There's a ton of other cars up here, but I'm really starting to enjoy GTI Treffen. It's now got an air of not only Festival of Speed and SEMA, but also Monterey Car Week because of how spread out things are. Uh, but yeah, big shout out to Nikolai for giving us the tour and, and telling us to come up here before we leave because this is special. Well, this is frankly ridiculous. I'm so glad we came up here. Now, over there, Slovenia. Who remembers, a few weeks ago, I bought a vignette for Slovenia, thought we were driving through it. We weren't, got my, that was my original itinerary was that we weren't. We didn't, so anyway, that's as close as I'm gonna get to it. Um, hi, Slovenia, but look, down here, that is actually where the event is taking place, where we spent most of the day. Um, and what's so cool is from up here, you can see that road that we've just hooned up, that sort of private hill climb, all the way up here to the top and as I say I don't remember coming to anywhere with a view this spectacular for quite a long time um, Austria beautiful but this event I've fallen in love with guys I, fall, I just pff, winner <laughs> 